Hey, Trish. Attention people, and especially people who are football fans, and especially people who are college football fans. Big news. There's finally a conclusion to the Penn State scandal just released this morning by the NCAA. For anyone who hasn't been following, here's the quickie version of the scandal up until this morning. In 2011, Penn State defensive coordinator Jerry Sandusky was put on trial for multiple accounts of sexual assault with young boys on Penn State campus between 1994 and 2009. Many witnesses were involved, some high-power Penn State officials were told, and for a long time, no one did anything to stop the abuse. In 2011, the public investigation and trial commenced, and America intently watched to see these football icons fall from power and have to face the consequences of their actions. And on June 22, 2012, Sandusky was found guilty of 45 out of 48 accounts of child molestation. Fast forward to yesterday, a giant bronze statue of Joe Paterno, head coach of Penn State Nittany Lions for the past 46 years, was taken down from Penn State campus after information from the Sandusky trial showed that Joe Pa and others concealed Sandusky's bad touch sessions. Today, July 23rd at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the NCAA laid their own smackdown on Penn State in response to the years of abuse. While it was rumored that the Penn State football program would be suspended altogether for one year in punishment, the actual sanctions are almost worse. They include a $60 million fine ordered to be paid to, quote, external programs preventing child sexual abuse or assisting victims and may not be used to fund such programs at the university. $60 million is the average amount of revenue the football program brings into Penn State per year. There will also be a drastic cut to the amount of football scholarships Penn State can offer each year for the next four years. Other penalties include a four-year football postseason ban and a forfeit of all wins since 1998. This is huge not only for Penn State, but it also erases all the wins on Joe Paterno's career record during this time. Up until now, Joe Pa held the record for most wins by a Division I football coach with 409. No longer the case. NCAA President Mark Emmert said during a news conference today, no price the NCAA can levy will repair the damage inflicted by Jerry Sandusky on his victims. Now, previously, the NCAA's course of action would have been to do a Committee on Infractions hearing, its own investigation. They would issue a notice of allegations, and then the university would have 90 days to respond. But such is not the case with Penn State. Instead, the NCAA used the former FBI director, Louis J. Fries' report that found Paterno and three top Penn State administrators guilty of hiding allegations of Sandusky's illegal behavior. Emmert states, We cannot look to NCAA history to determine how to handle circumstances so disturbing, shocking, and disappointing. So while it is definitely awesome that something is being done in response to the years of Sandusky's child abuse that the school covered up, there are some who argue that the NCAA shouldn't have this kind of power, that they're stepping outside of their bounds. The NCAA's purpose is to make sure the game is played fair and all schools have a level playing field. This is a penalty based on bad moral conduct and criminal activity, but it does not affect the gameplay directly. All of this is also really hard on Joe Paterno's family because he's not alive anymore to defend himself or try to get a fair trial. Before he was a football legend and many people visited his statue with flowers. Now his name is completely disgraced and his accomplishments erased. I feel bad for his family, but I also feel bad for the families of the 10 boys abused by Sandusky that Paterno apparently knew about and didn't report. It's important to note also that the NCAA's ruling has more to do with the cover-up than the actual crime. They're punishing the way that Penn State handled the entire situation, not the crime itself. Sandusky has been found guilty and is still awaiting sentencing. So, do you think the punishment is a good way to show that we as a society will stand up to this kind of behavior from those we look up to? Or is this the NCAA overstepping their authority? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Like, subscribe, and then if you want to see more stories, click this here annotation or go to sourcefed.com to check out the five stories of the day or anything that we've ever covered at SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and thanks for watching.